Brian, I think it's time we do a what we eat in a day video. But it's so boring. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Jessica. And I am Brian. If you've never seen us before, uh, we are a couple that started out weighing 799, I like to round up to 800, 800 pounds. And uh, over the last 14 to 15 months, we have lost a combined 290 pounds. And uh, that leads us to the topic of today's video though, because we have been asked by yes. numerous people, at least 20, if if not, maybe 50, maybe 50 uh, people have asked us what we eat in a typical day for yes. our weight loss. And it's, uh, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing today. Yeah. So if you didn't know, our weight loss journey has been based on following a whole food plant-based diet. And you can click on the links in the description below for a lot more information about that. But the day that we decided to film for you is a very typical day on our weight loss journey and what we continue to eat because we're still losing weight as well. Um, but it's a very typical day. And so we decided to film this for you guys just to just show you, you know, what it actually looks like. And like Brian said, it's not super exciting, but here it is. Also, to all of you that commented asking us to do a what we eat in the day video, this one goes out to you. So let's kick this off with breakfast. I'm making some banana butter to go on toast, which is one banana, some flaxseed, ground cinnamon, some nutmeg, and some allspice. And uh, the toast there is just Ezekiel cinnamon raisin bread, which is pretty much the only bread that we actually keep in stock. But uh, just go ahead and mash that all up together and stick that right on the toast. This is one of my favorite breakfast to eat. I love this stuff. All right, so for our lunches, we like to use our little lunch boxes and pack up all our goodies. Brian gave me this as a gift, a birthday gift. Okay, guys, so I don't know. It was like, gosh, it's been a long time ago now, like, I don't know, eight years or something or more. And he gave me a gift for my birthday and I was like, oh, you gave me a lunchbox. Okay, cool, that's a super cool. Brian's lunchbox just fell off the edge of the table. Um, I was like, oh, you gave me a lunchbox. That's a super cool gift, thanks. And then I fell in love with it. And also it's Vera Bradley and now I like all kinds of Vera Bradley stuff. So Brian opened that can of worms for me, but yes, it ended up being a really great gift and I'm using it to this day. It's probably the most used gift I've ever had. So thanks Brian. Yeah. Scout is trying to eat Brian's lunchbox. Brian has this little lunchbox that I got him. So I'm going to start out with the raw veggies. So we usually bring some kind of veggies, whether they be raw or frozen. Today we have a collection of broccoli, cauliflower, and baby carrots. And we are just going to pair that with some of our super smoky hummus. You can check the link below if you want to make this. But it's not like an exact science. We just basically measure out, you know, a few scoops of it for each of us. So like that, maybe a little more. Eh, that's pretty much enough. All right, so for lunch today, I am packing some of our chili that we actually made last night. And I'm happy to report for all of you who've been asking for the recipe, it is linked in the description below and you can check it out on our website, crocsinthekitchen.com. So and, uh, there will also be a video coming out very shortly for it. But we made this last night and this is, a, this is the part of our lunch that usually changes up the most. I have about three cups in here for Brian and about two cups for me. So that's the next thing I'm gonna pack into our lunch boxes. All right, so the last part is going to be fruit. So we usually have a combination of some frozen and some fresh. So I actually, this fruit will be for my breakfast. So I start out with both of us, we, we start out with blueberries. And I don't measure these out in exact amounts. I just kind of, you know, eyeball it. But usually I like to cover up the bottom of mine with blueberries. And then Brian likes cherries. I'm not huge on the cherries, so I usually don't add any to mine, but I usually add a few, just a few to Brian's. That'd be good. And then raspberries. Brian doesn't like raspberries, so I use the raspberries. I think I'm just gonna take the rest of these. 
sometimes I buy fresh, but I find it easier just to keep the frozen on hand throughout the year, but it just depends on what's in season. Um, the next thing we both get is some pineapple. I'm just gonna grab a few pieces of that. I like to pack the non-staining, like the, the fruit that doesn't stain on the bottom so that my lids don't get stained. And then mango. This is something that I've been really liking lately, especially when you get those really ripe pieces. So I'm just gonna pack, oops. I'm just gonna pack that to the brim. For Brian, it's like Tetris for Brian's little container to fit in the maximum amount of fruit. So yeah, there you go. And then for me, just sort of fill it up most of the way. But yeah, these will be our fruit for, Brian uses his as just part of his lunch and mine is going to actually be my breakfast. Okay, so there we have our fruit. And then I need something to wipe my hands because my hands are covered in fruit now. I'm back. So yeah, that is all of the food that we will take to work with us. So we each have our bag and that's basically it. So as I said, my frozen fruit is my breakfast usually. So I just let that thaw out for a bit on my desk. And then I added a sliced banana and a little bit of nut butter to the top. Now let's move on to my lunch. Of course, I've got my fresh fruit, my veggies and hummus and my frozen fruit, and of course, the delicious chili. I love this stuff and I'm gonna eat this real quick. So that was very good, very filling, and I am ready to continue on with the rest of my day. All right, so I'm about to eat my lunch at work and honestly, usually I just end up eating it at my desk. I have been trying to go on walks during my lunch, which is good, but then I usually just come back and eat at my desk. So I'm gonna show you what I got. All right, so I got my chili heated up. This looks really tasty. Mm. And then I've got my veggies and my hummus and my apple, which I always like to chop up with my little apple chopper. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat all of this and yeah. Let's take a little tour of my office while we're here. So I've got my posters. We just got this new artwork for the back of our walls, which is awesome. We got to pick what we wanted. And then these are some personal items that I brought in. Hey, what are you doing here? So it wouldn't be a day for us without a giant salad. So after work, I got home and got to chopping. Of course, I used our chopper and bowl to get this to the right consistency. Yes, on our salad prep video, some of you guys pointed out we are literally chopping up chopped lettuce. And we know that, but we like it super diced. Now let's get to the salad bar.
So there you go. That's what we eat in a day. Yep. I especially enjoyed the office tour, Jessica. That was oh, very thanks. nice. Uh, but what is not typical, or at least not typical until just recently, Jessica ended up buying some popsicle molds, and uh, now she has made these lovely popsicles Yay. for dessert. So we usually eat some kind of fruit for dessert, maybe some ice cream, something like that. But I recently watched a video from Brittany Giroudi, who has the Giroudi family, her, yep. is her YouTube channel. Check her out. She makes awesome whole food plant-based, all whole food plant-based stuff. It's yeah, she, awesome. she is great. She is one of the YouTubers that we watch uh, whenever she posts a video. And uh, we honestly just love her content. Yes, and she made these raspberry peach popsicles, and I was like super excited to try them yes. out. Yes, you have so no idea. She I, <laughs> messaged me. She was like, "Oh my god, I've got to make these!" So I made them last night. I made Brian's extra peachy because yep. he likes peach. I don't really care for raspberries. And all that much. I love the raspberry. So this will be our dessert. This is the final thing we're gonna eat today. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go small bite on the side there. Mm. Oh wow, that's got a good peach kick to it. Mm. Yeah, there's the raspberry. Mm. Nice. I like that's it. a good combination there. There's nothing else in here besides raspberry and peach. Yeah. There's nothing else added. It's just so sweet and delicious. Good job, Brittany. I like this. So yeah, that's it. That's really all we got for this one. I mean, like I said, it is kind of boring just to do the uh, the what we eat in a day video. But I mean, you know, hopefully it helps you guys out in seeing exactly what we did for our weight loss. And uh, hopefully you guys can get a little bit inspired, you know, and continue on your own journey to health. But uh, if you haven't seen the <laughs> channel before, please subscribe. I just want to uh, eat my popsicle. Eat your popsicle. I'm talking to the people. I thought you were going to say if you haven't watch the channel before you know that this is the point where jessica's gonna get squirmy or you don't know this is the point where jessica's gonna get squirmy and try yeah. to eat her popsicle so just eat just get it get it over i with. just want to get to the peach part because i haven't had any peach then yet. get to the peach part while i'm finishing up here okay you ready mm -hmm. all right mm. good well there you go if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so uh click the bell notification that is right next to it so you can get all of the updates whenever we do post a new video also, if you are so inclined, and we would greatly appreciate it, like uh, and share the video out to wherever you want to and help us uh, grow the channel even more. Seriously, you guys are amazing and you've just been killing it out there with the shares and with the likes and stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Also find us on all of our social media stuff, especially Instagram. Jessica loves posting to Instagram. Not to mention if you message us on Instagram, Odds are you're going to talk to Jessica because she's the one who manages all of that stuff, and I just sort of see the after effects. But I do send you things though that people ask that require your that is that is also very true expertise. Yep. <laughs> but I think that's all I got. I'm going to finish this sucker off. I know that's all she's got. She's definitely <laughs> going to finish that off. We will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Popsicle. Mm -hmm.